conditionally formatting dates. There are many options to format cells or rows based on the current date using built-in rules. Select the cells for which you want to apply formatting. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting. In the drop-down menu, select Highlight Cells Rules and then select a date occurring. The drop-down on the left has many date options ranging from last month to next month. To highlight event dates in the next month, select Next Month. You can select one of the predefined format or set up a custom format. Click on Custom Format. Choose different options on the Font, Border and Fill tabs. Select Format and click on OK. Click on OK. Dates occurring next month are highlighted. This method has two limitations. Only selected cells can be highlighted, not entire row. The conditional format is always applied based on the current date. If you want to highlight cells or entire rows based on a date in another cell or create rules for greater time intervals that is more than a month from the current date, create new conditional formatting rules. Highlight weekends. You can highlight weekends using the weekday formula. For example, highlight events happening on weekends. Select the range which you want to highlight. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. Select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format values where this formula is true box, enter this weekday formula. The weekday function returns the day of the week corresponding to a date. Pass a reference to the first cell with a date. In this case, $C2. Second parameter is the return type. Enter 2 as the return type for a week starting from Monday through Sunday. The function returns 6 for Saturday and 7 for Sunday which is greater than 5. So the formula returns true for these days. Click on Format and select the required format. Click on OK. The rule is applied and the events happening on weekends are highlighted. Highlight Holidays. To highlight holidays, enter the list of holidays in a range H2 to H3. Use this formula. The count if function counts the number of times the date in C2 occurs in the holidays range. If it is greater than 0, the formula returns true and the date is highlighted. Highlight rows based on a certain date in a certain column. To highlight orders delivered on 3-1-2023, Enter the date in an input cell I3. Use this formula. The formula returns true if the date in the delivery column is equal to the date in the input cell. If true, the row is highlighted. Conditionally format dates based on the current date. Highlight dates equal to greater than or less than today. To conditionally format cells based on current date, use the today function. Compare the date in E2 to the current date returned by today function. To highlight orders to be delivered today, use this formula. To highlight orders already delivered, use this formula. To highlight orders to be delivered in future, use this formula. Conditionally format dates in Excel based on multiple conditions. To format the invoice column when the delivery date is equal to or greater than today and the invoice is empty, use this formula. The formula returns true if both the conditions are met and the cell is highlighted. Highlight dates within a date range. You can highlight the cells or rows that fall within a certain date range. For example, to highlight orders placed in the last 10 days, use this formula. The AND function returns true only when both conditions are true. Orders placed in the last 10 days are highlighted. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.